There are a lot of wire mesh standards out there to keep woven wire mesh in check, which means it can be pretty hard to keep them all straight. So don't worry, if you stick around, I'll tell you everything you need to know. Hey there, what's up? My name's Andrew Kotlar, and wire mesh has come to be regarded as one of the most versatile screening and filtration materials in almost every industry imaginable. So, big surprise, to yield the results at the level that's expected, your wire mesh has to meet a list of criteria tailored to your industry and process. This is where wire mesh standards come into the picture. WS Tyler has been a wire mesh weaving business for over 150 years, and we want to share our experiences so you can achieve reliable results that are accurate and repeatable. So in this video, we'll go over the main six standards that control your wire mesh industry, including ANSI AWCI01, ASTM E11, ASTM E2016, ASTM E437, ISO 9044,1999044, and PRW360A. In the world of woven wire mesh, standards are guidelines that define the acceptable wire mesh tolerances. They are meant to create a universal understanding of how wire mesh is fabricated and used in any specific industry. This ensures that products that reach the end user are safe and are what the customer expected. So there's several wire mesh standards that control the level of quality for wire mesh, and the standards you should follow naturally is determined by the industry you work in. But to give you an overview, these are six of the most prominent wire mesh standards practiced today. Designed by the American National Standards Institute, the ANSI AWCI01 standard encompasses the wire mesh fabrication in the United States. It establishes wire mesh applications in industrial and screening settings. ANSI AWCI01 was written to mimic the blemish tolerances set by the ISO 9044 standard. The American Society for Testing and Material established the E11 standard, which outlines what the manufacturing process of test sieves should look like. The sieve cloth opening size, diameter of the individual wire in the sieve cloth, height of the sieve frame, sieve frame diameter, and the sieve cloth mounting are all addressed in the E11 guidelines. And the ASTM E11 standard is one of the most, if not the most, widely used standard in the particle size analysis industry. The American Society for Testing and Materials designed the ASTM E2016 to dictate how industrial wire mesh is used when screening material to measure particle size. This includes the various wire mesh sieves, methods, and other various screening media used to separate the particles based on size. The ASTM E437 is an industrial wire mesh standard that specifically oversees square mesh and was designed designed to cover basic square mesh applications. It establishes four different grades of square mesh that's based on mesh count and wire diameter, and the overall mesh tolerances illustrated in the standard are based on pore opening width. The ISO 9044-1999044 standard was created by the International Standards Organization to lay out the most widely accepted aperture and grade tolerances, and this particular standard is built upon metric specifications. Established in the late 1970s by the General Services Administration of the Federal Supply Services, the PRW360A specification oversees how wire mesh is applied in all federal organizations, and more specifically, it breaks wire mesh down by type and class while also establishing requirements and tolerances. That said, this standard has set four grades of wire mesh on the foundation of the specific wire diameters of certain mesh designations. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about woven wire mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.